The release of Star Wars Jedi Survivor has fans both excited and disappointed. While the core of the game is exciting and fun, trust me, the story is wild as well, players have still been plagued by performance issues both on console and PC, and this video is going to show you how to get better performance from Jedi Survivor from my experience with a few settings that I tweaked. Now this may not be a perfect fix for everyone and it may not even work for everyone, but this is just talking from my own experience as to what I changed and what I found worked for me to get a few more frames and make the game a little bit smoother. Now I'm not saying you're going to get 300 frames or anything like that, but it'll definitely show a bit of improvement if you apply at least some of these settings, hopefully you guys can get a little bit of a fix. Now just quickly before I start today's video, today is sponsored by Owner Saber. Owner Saber make high quality original and replica lightsabers that look amazing in anyone's setup. Owner Saber were nice enough to send me their Dark Lord Saber and there is a full unboxing video of that on my channel already if you would like to take a look. On top of that, Owner Saber is running a sale until May 7th and if you use code TWISTED when ordering your Saber, you will get $10 off your order plus free shipping and a free display stand so you can perfectly set it up in your setup. Once again, thank you to Owner Saber for sponsoring today's video, and now we're going to get back to Jedi Survivor. So PC players with beefy rigs that should be more than capable of running this game seem to be the ones having the most problems, leaving a lot of people confused and with a bit of resentment. Now don't get me wrong, I've loved every single second of Jedi Survivor, and other than the low frame rates, I haven't really struggled too much with crashes or corrupt data like some. This video guide will have a few quick tips for console players and the rest will focus around settings you can change on your PC. So hopefully I can provide a little bit of value to everyone. Getting into it for those of you on console, the first thing you need to do is go into your settings and turn off HDR. We were told this by the developers that the feature was still having some issues and wasn't quite finished yet and was going to be needed to be fixed in a future update and as I'm unsure of whether that's been done yet, it's probably best to turn it off for now just for a little bit more stability and when we get word that that has been fixed then potentially you guys can switch it back on. Moving into a few of the in-game settings you will want to change, the first one is placing your game on performance mode if you are on console. As for the PC players, it may sound obvious, but turning your graphics settings down will also assist you in getting a smoother experience. Luckily for me, I have a great PC and was able to leave mine on high and epic for most of my playthrough, and I only had a few frame rate issues throughout. But in saying that, if your PC is still struggling, maybe drop it down to medium and see how you go from there. The next tip, which doesn't make sense at all, but for some reason it works, is to change the field of view to widest. Normally the wider your field of view and the more of your environment you can see, makes it more difficult to process for your rig due to the amount of things on the screen to be rendered, but for some reason the widest setting showed a pretty noticeable improvement when switching over. The next thing you want to change is to turn V-Sync and Ray Tracing off as they don't seem to be adding any performance benefits. If anything, Ray Tracing is definitely taking away from your frames, so if you're going to turn either of them off, definitely make it that one. Again, for those on AMD, switch to Performance Mode and from there, make sure you turn off Motion Blur, Film Grain and Chromatic Aberration. And personally for me, I turn off Camera Shake too. Not that that has too much to do with the performance, but just personal preference, I turn off Camera Shake. Now jumping into a few of your PC settings, you want to start by typing graphics settings into your start menu, browsing and finding Jedi Survivor in its file menu, clicking on options and selecting high performance. Following this, we're going to delete any temp files. This can be done by pressing Windows R on your PC, typing in temp and deleting any of the files that appear on screen. After this, we're going to do the same process, except instead of typing just temp, we're going to type percentage, temp, percentage, and delete any files that appear on screen again. And then finally, we're going to do the Windows R one more time, type in prefetch, and delete those files again. Just clearing up some of the data and stuff that on the PC that we don't actually need and that we don't use, and it's just there clogging up space. Next up, for those using an NVIDIA graphics card, open up the control panel, go to manage 3D settings and copy the settings that I have on screen. And with your refresh rate, just make sure it matches whatever the max refresh rate for your monitor can run. And for me, that's 144, but you guys will obviously have to tune that to whatever monitor you're running. Now, from there, you're gonna hit apply and save those settings and then close out of everything and restart your PC. This is going to allow all of those settings to actually set in place properly and once restarted boot up Jedi Survivor and hopefully this has helped improve your frames. 
It might not get you crazy good frames like I mentioned at the start, but for me, it was definitely a noticeable difference. Hopefully it's gonna give you guys a hand as well. And if you made it to the end of the video, make sure you comment Jedi down below, just so I know who's made it through to the end. With that said, I hope this helped you guys. I will see you all in the next video tomorrow. May the force be with you always.